hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so today's video i'm going to be trying a new wax and that is the coconut c55 wax it is a tat wax if you don't know what a tat wax is it's a wax that is used to make wax melt so i'm going to be trying it in this video this is how the wax looks it comes in a block form and it is pretty hard like i can't create a mac in it it is pretty hard but not as hard as paraffin so you can easily go in and break it um with maybe like a knife or those scraper things that i used to break my wax if you watch my video you probably have seen me done it before so yeah uh that's what i'm going to be using i already filmed that part of the video so i'm going to just tell you guys what i did because i did not add sound to it basically what i did is i melted the wax to like 200 205 degrees and then i added my fragrance oil depend on how i set my principle and depend on how fast i want things usually i just I'll just do it to 205 but most of the time it's up to 210 so by the time i'm scooping everything out and adding the fragrance oil it will drop a little bit but it will still be above 200 I do this because this is a coconut wax. You do want to add your oil early because you don't want the wax to be cool too much. So if you do that, the oil is not going to bind. So I add my oil and then I do use a 12% oil if you're wondering. Um, I add my oil and then I stir for 15 seconds, maximum 20 seconds. And then I wait for the temperature to drop to like 171 mostly 170 i don't really do below 170 because already i do not want to wait that long so 170 and i pour it into the clamshell if you pour it directly into the clamshell you're going to mess up your clamshell so yeah that's basically what i did and i'll, sh I'll tell you guys after i make the wax melt how i feel about this wax so so yeah i'm just gonna move to the demo part of the video and then We'll conclude it. So I'll catch you guys later. You don't know. Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's body baby. Oh. Ah, he's body baby. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad man thing. Yeah, yeah. Bad girl make you want to be this nah, nah. That thing where I go for you later, nah, nah. The way you back it up, the way you bust in the place, nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah. Steady on time, yeah, don't be late, nah, nah. Okay, guys, so this is how the um, wax mold looks. It did have, uh, it created a bit of a sinkhole. And I do feel like uh, it might be a double pour. I'm not sure how that will go out in the clamshell. But yeah, it created uh, a sinkhole. And I'm just gonna pop, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it up. <laughs> so there we have it. This is how it looks. It is very firm. It's not as hard as hard as paraffin, but it is pretty firm. And it smells really good too. Like the cold throw is very, very strong. So let's talk about the hot throw. The hot throw was really good. I think it was only one scent that I really didn't get much of a hot throw. But the hot throw was really, really good. Uh, I burned it and... I actually burned it the next day and I could smell it so I do believe that as you cure it for more days it's gonna get stronger so the hot throw was really really great this outro was supposed to be filmed like a month ago but I just didn't get around it I do think I filmed like a snip a little bit of an outro showing you guys the actual wax melts when I did it because I did it in the mold because I did it in this mold and I do think I show you guys how it came out in that mold but I just wanted to come on here and just add a little bit to 
the outro that I already did and that is uh, me doing it in clamshell and also coloring it uh, the wax does hold color uh, uh, great I wouldn't say it hold it like paraffin but it does hold the color color really great I'm gonna be showing you guys so I did color some new wax mold that I have on the website now if you do want to check it out what are you waiting for so yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys the color and how it looks Alright guys, there you have it. So those are the colors that I have used with this wax. Uh, and I do think it does a really good job. And the wax is pretty easy to work with. The only thing that I don't seem to like about it, and it's really not a huge deal. It's just because I have to heat to above 200 and then add my oil and I have to wait for for the temperature to drop to like 170 before I pour it in the clamshell. When you pour it above 200 in the clamshell, these clamshells are going to, should I say melt? Uh, whatever. They are going, you're going to damage the clamshell. So yeah, you have to wait. And I find that a bit time of waiting. Just, I just drag the whole process and make it take a little bit longer to do the wax melt. While on the flip side, when I'm using like a TW30, I just sort of add, stir, and then pour. So that one makes it go a lot faster than this one. But like I said, it's not a big deal. It's really, really not a big deal. So yeah, that's everything that I have to say about the wax. I'll try to leave a couple of suppliers in the description box as well in case you're looking for this wax. And if you have used this wax, let me know. Your experience using this wax and how it went um and that's it for this video i'll catch you in my next video so until then stay blessed and beautiful Bye.